Hello guys, you are warm welcome once again in Easy Economic Session. Hope you are doing well and enjoying your learning. In today's session, I have brought you another important chapter of macroeconomics. It is BOP. Yes, balance of payments. And in this segment, we will discuss the structure and components of balance of payment. Your 50% of balance of payment chapter is done if you understand the structure and components of balance of payment. So let's start. So first we'll see what is balance of payments. Balance of payment is a systematic record of all economic transactions between the domestic country and the foreign countries during a specific period of time. Time may be for one year. So we can say it is a record of all kinds of receipts earned from foreign countries and payments made to other countries. Now we'll try to understand the structure of BOP with the help of this table. Actually balance of payment account is maintained in the standard double entry bookkeeping system. It means all the transaction, all the international economic transactions are recorded in the form of receipts or credits and payments or debits. Whatever amount we receive from other countries that is recorded in receipts and whatever amount we pay to other countries are recorded in the payments or debits. Now broadly this BOP account is divided in two types of account. One is current account and another is capital account. Now what is current account in the balance of payment? Current account includes these items you can see point number one to four shows the total current account balance. So this current account includes export of goods and import of goods that is visible items, export of services any kind of services that are exported to other countries or services that are imported from other countries in the form of banking, insurance, transportation, communication, medical, health, whatever. All their records are maintained in this account. Then third is unilateral receipts and unilateral payments. This is also a very important account under the current account. This shows donation or gift or charity that we have received from other countries and we have paid to other countries during the time of any need or calamities or any problem any country is facing for their help we send it to other countries. Fourth item is the income in the form of interest, profits, dividend received from other countries and in the debit side, interest, profits, dividend paid to other countries. So these all forms the current account balance. Now we'll see the capital account. Under the capital account, all kind of capital inflow and outflows are recorded. It may be in the form of investment done to other countries that will be investment outflow and foreign countries invest in our country in the form of FDI or FPI that is recorded in the credit side in investment inflow. Loans borrowed from other countries it may be medium term or long term loans borrowed from other countries or borrowed from international financial institutions that are recorded in the credit side while loans given to other countries recorded in the debit side. Any other kind of capital inflows all are recorded in the capital account and any other capital outflows to other countries recorded in the debit side. So point number six, seven, eight together form the capital account balance. Now another important item in this uh, structure is statistical discrepancy. It is also known as errors and omission. This reflects transactions that have not been recorded for various reasons and so cannot be entered under standard heading but must appear since the full balance of payments account must sum to zero. Now we'll see the another item of BOP that is change in reserves in plus and minus. This is also known as foreign exchange reserves. It is held in the form of foreign currencies it may be dollar pound gold and special drawing rights 
when a country enjoys a net surplus both in current and capital account then its foreign exchange reserves increases okay so whenever there is current account deficit mostly deficit or surplus are visible in current account so whenever there is deficit in current account balance at that time the foreign exchange reserves are used to meet this deficit one important point to note here that in the balance of payment structure it is said that total receipts should be equal to total payments so we can say in accounting sense balance of payment is always in balance whenever there is deficit in the balance of payment it may be in the form of current account and this current account deficit can be adjusted in the capital account that's why capital account is also known as accommodating account now we look at various components of balance of payments we have already seen that balance of payment accounts are divided into two types of accounts current account and capital account so under current account we have seen that there are two types of items visible and invisible under the visible items there are number of things number of goods and commodities are included it may be crude oil car mobile computer garment food grains etc that are exported and imported exported to other countries and imported from other countries okay so all the visible items that are known as goods and commodities recorded in the current account the first item of the current account under the invisible we can classify three types services income and unilateral transfer under the services various services we can export to other countries and we can import from other countries such as medical services education health services travel and tourism transportation communication nowadays software services are continuously increasing in international trade so all these are recorded in the service account in the income account of income account of the current account uh, income received from other countries in the form of profits dividend interest remittances from other countries and all these are paid to other countries also so their inflow and outflow are recorded in the invisible item of the current account third invisible item is unilateral transfer we have already seen in the previous slide of a structure of balance of payment this is the fourth item of the current account balance this is very important item as it consists of number of things related to help a kind of help such as donation gift charity uh, given to other countries or received from other countries during the time of natural calamities or any other kind of problems or crisis the country is facing so this is free of cost uh, it means there is no counter obligation we don't have to repay it if we receive from other countries so there is no counter obligation under the capital account we can see the main items investment investment may be fdi foreign direct investment uh, done in our country or our country invest in other countries fpi portfolio investment foreign portfolio investment investment in share debenture bonds all these are included here nri deposits in our country that is also a very important part of capital account loan various types of loans borrowed and given to other countries it may be short term medium term or long term loans loans received from foreign countries or received from international financial institutions such as imf or world bank they are also recorded in the capital account and finally the gold and foreign exchange reserves that are also maintained in the capital account so this is the whole components of balance of payments now at the end this is surprise test so i will ask two questions both questions are related to balance of payment chapter and the structure of balance of payment so you have to read the question four options are given just 
carefully read all the options and try to find out the correct answer when you find out the correct answer please write in the comment section i am waiting for your response so the question number 1 is which of the following pairs is not correctly matched with regard to balance of payments account option a import of goods and services debit in the current account second receipts of transfer payments credit in the current account option c direct investment receipts credit in the current account option d long term loan received credit in the capital account so you have to find out which one is not correctly matched three are correctly matched only one is incorrect okay so you have to find out the incorrect one so hurry up write the correct answer in the comment section question number 2 unilateral receipts and payments are part of so again this question is related to structure of balance of payment we have discussed today in this video so find out the correct answer so what will be the option trade account or service account or current account or capital account so i think definitely you know the answer if you have gone through this video you can answer it correctly write the chat box and send to me thank you have a nice day